ever wish you could bottle that feeling, you know, when you're planning a trip, all that dreaming and scheming, but like before you actually have to book anything. Oh, the best part. Right. Well, get ready because <laughs> that's exactly the vibe of this deep dive. We're talking Ireland. Always a good choice. The best, really. But specifically, we're diving into this overland Ireland itinerary, 11 days, all across the Emerald Isle. Seems ambitious. I like it. Ambitious in the best way. Now, we've got the itinerary itself right here, ready to dissect, but almost more exciting. We've also got this five-star review from a traveler named Brian G. Oh, so we're getting the real deal. Oh, yeah. He lived this thing, loved this thing, and between the two, the itinerary and the review, yeah. I think we're about to unlock some secrets to a truly epic Irish adventure. What do you think? I think secrets is the right word. And, you know, the itinerary itself is called the full Irish without the hangover. Okay, bold claim. Right. It promises the world. But it did get me thinking about the structure. Right off the bat, it balances those must-sees, your Cliffs of Moher, your Giant's Causeway, all the classics with some seriously intriguing off-the-beaten-path stuff. See, that's what I'm talking about. Right there in the itinerary description, that's what hooked me. Anyone can hop on a bus tour to the cliffs, but how many can say they've watched a sheepdog trial on the edge of a fjord? Or, even better, soaked in a seaweed bath afterward. It's brilliant, actually. That's what makes this itinerary worth a deep dive. It's not just about the what, it's the why. They're yeah. clearly aiming for that insider access feel, which honestly... It's everyone wants these days. It really is. But more than that, they've paced it out expertly. You'll notice they intersperse those high energy days like you know, hiking the cliffs mm -hmm. with more relaxed experiences, like that seaweed bath. That's so smart. Prevents sightseeing burnout, which is essential. Yeah. Especially in a country as naturally stunning as Ireland, you could get overwhelmed if you're not careful. Okay, so we're talking about striking a balance, blockbuster sites, but also those pinch me, I'm in Ireland moments. Mm. And it seems like they've got the rhythm down, which on an 11 day tour is key. I'm already picturing myself sipping a pint by the fjord, watching those sheepdogs work their magic. But here's the thing about itineraries, right? They look great on paper, mm -hmm. but the real magic, it happens when you're actually out there on the road. 100%. Which brings us to Brian G and his glowing review. Mm. This, my friend, is where the rubber meets the road. Right. Got to see what it's like in action. <laughs> and honestly, it's pure gold for anyone planning their own Irish adventure. Yeah. What stood out to you reading through his feedback? Oh, Brian's review. Yeah, it's pure traveler's treasure for sure. Two things really struck me. First, he raves about their tour guide, Mark. Okay, yeah. And it's not just like a passing mention. You know, he goes into detail about how Mark went above and beyond, like finding those hidden gem pubs, sharing local stories, that kind of thing. Like giving a friend in Ireland. Exactly. And that, to me, speaks volumes about the tour company itself. You know, it's one thing to have a fantastic itinerary, but they're clearly fostering a culture where their guides feel empowered to, like, really elevate the experience. You know what I mean? Totally. That's not something you can fake. No, not at all. And the second thing that caught my eye, Brian specifically mentions no gimmicky souvenir stops. Oh, interesting. Now, you might think that's a small detail. Right. But to me, it just reinforces this commitment to authentic experiences, you know? Like, they're not herding people into tourist traps. Yeah, yeah. No, kiss me, I'm Irish t-shirts. <laughs> exactly. They're prioritizing those genuine, real Ireland moments we were talking about earlier. <laughs> Is everything. Okay, one more gem from Brian's review I wanted to touch on. He suggests adding some extra time in Dublin. Good call. Which, I mean, it makes sense, right? Yeah. This itinerary focuses on the countryside. Really getting out there. You're on the move, for sure. Have you found that to be a common sentiment, especially with these kinds of immersive tours? Absolutely. Kudos to Brian for recognizing that. This tour, it's jam-packed with incredible sights, but you are constantly on the go. Dublin, on the other hand, has a different rhythm. For sure. It begs to be explored a little slower, you know, really allowing yourself to soak it all in. I always recommend adding a few days, either at the beginning or the end of your trip, just to really do Dublin justice. All right. So we've journeyed through this full Irish itinerary, heard tales from the road courtesy of Brian G. And I got to say, I'm ready to hop on a plane. Me too. Sounds incredible. Right. But OK, let's get real for a second. Maybe the dates don't work or maybe group tours aren't your thing. Sure. But that's the beauty of these deep dives, right? We can, like, extract the gold and apply it to any Ireland adventure. Totally. Think of it like this deep dive is our treasure map. Now we figure out how to use it. 
Oh, I like that. Okay, so let's talk about those golden nuggets. What are the non-negotiables, the must-haves, that any traveler should take away from this when planning their own Irish adventure? Three things spring to mind immediately. First up, balance is key. And I don't just mean packing comfortable shoes. Right, exactly, though also important. But no, remember how we talked about the itinerary, that blend of iconic landmarks and those like quirky only in Ireland experiences? Sheepdog trials and seaweed baths. There you go. Don't be afraid to venture off the beaten path. Embrace the unexpected. Like if you're booking a tour, actually ask about those hidden gem opportunities. And if you're going solo, you know, sick them out. Like choosing between a perfectly paired Guinness and a sip of poteen from a local's flask? Why not both? Exactly. Now, second takeaway. Brian's review really hammered this home guide quality. Can make or break your trip? Mm. Imagine 11 days with a guide who's like just phoning it in or worse, doesn't really know their stuff. Heartbreaking. Like going to a concert and the lead singer is just not feeling it. Total buzzkill. Exactly. So here's what I suggest. When you're looking at tour companies, don't just look at the brochures. Look for companies that highlight their guides. Maybe even have traveler reviews that actually mention them by name. Oh, smart. And if it's a smaller company, don't hesitate to reach out. Say, hey, can I chat with my potential guide for five minutes? It's like a first date for your travel experience. A hundred percent. Okay, and finally, the third golden nugget we're taking from this deep dive. Pacing. Remember, Ireland's beauty, it unfolds best at a human pace. Don't cram your itinerary so full that you're just rushing from one site to the next. You'll be exhausted and overwhelmed. Exhausted, yes. Take a cue from this full Irish itinerary and allow for those moments of serendipity. Those unplanned stops at a charming pub, a leisurely stroll. Those are the memories you'll cherish. It's so true. Some of my favorite travel memories are the ones where, like, you get a little lost, just let the journey kind of unfold. 100%. Give yourself permission to wander, to linger, really soak in the atmosphere. That's the true magic of Ireland. You've officially turned my wanderlust up to 11. I'm ready to book that flight, find my perfect guide, lose myself in the Emerald Isle. And Lister, one last thought before you mm -hmm. go. Remember how we talked about those truly authentic experiences? Here's a little homework assignment for you. Research local festivals, events, anything happening during your travel dates. That's a fantastic way to experience the real heart and soul of Ireland. Imagine, you know, stumbling upon a lively village market or finding yourself at a traditional music session in a cozy pub. Who knows what treasures you'll uncover. And hey, if you find something amazing, drop us a line. We're always up for more Ireland inspiration. Until next time, happy travels.